Hallelujah, God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm Sheree Fon. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. There is a test that will come before your settlement. Be careful. There is a test that will come before your settlement. You know? I see you being tested before your settlement. And if you're not spiritually sensitive, you're going to fall into this trap. You make a mistake. You see, it's not like this is the right thing to do. But you know, there are people who love God so much, who want to do the will of God, but they are not so spiritually positioned as of now. They are not very spiritual. So they are unable to hear the voice of God. They are unable to hear God speak to them. So such people begin to rely on signs. They begin to rely on signs of confirmation. You see, this person is a lover of God. This person doesn't want to make a mistake. They want to stay in God's will. But they are not so spiritual. They are not spiritually strong. They are unable to perceive the voice of God correctly. That they had to settle for a sign of confirmation. They ended up by telling God, Lord, if she's the one, let her do this, let her do this, let her do that. And sometimes God will respond out of his mercy. Sometimes God will respond to such people because he sees the genuineness of their hearts. You must be careful. I see a test prior to your marriage. It is not as though this person was wicked. It is not as though they wanted you to fail. They just wanted to be sure of their decision because they want to walk according to God's purpose. Look at the story of, let's take an example, the story in the Bible, the book of uh, Genesis, the story of Abraham. Abraham sends his servant to go get a wife for his son Isaac. His servant gets to the well and begins to make a prayer to God. He says, oh Lord, may I find favor before you for the sake of my master Abraham. He says, oh Lord, please, the imagine the young girl that will come to the well to carry water and I will ask her to give me some to drink and then she will fill it up to water my cattle and my animals. May she become my, my, my master's wife. That was a prayer that she, he made. And guess what? When Rebecca came, she began to align according to the prayer that was made. I tell you the truth. There was a voice in the inside of her that spoke to her, that led her. You see, many a times the problem is we are resisting God's voice. I've always said this. When you are, uns uns when you are unsure of what you think, what you heard when you are unsure of if the voice you heard is god's voice or the voice of your mind just go ahead and do it especially if it's something that you know god can ask you to do when you're unsure of the voice you heard when you're uncertain if it's god speaking to you or your mind especially if it has to do with somebody or doing something that has to bless someone else don't withhold don't guess don't second guess. Go ahead and do it. I'm telling you. Had it been Rebecca did not align. Had it been she did not obey the little words. I've said this. Thoughts don't just come. Spirits are responsible for, for igniting thoughts in men. If you're yielded to God, the spirit of God is responsible for that. If you're yielded to the devil, it's not your channel. Please be careful. I need you to be sensitive. It is in your place now to pray to God. To order your steps. The Bible says the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. I want you to be sensitive. You've prayed for this marriage for long. You've prayed for this marriage for long. And God is about to bless you with an amazing man. But you need to be sensitive. And let God order your steps. You know, I was teaching in a session yesterday and I said this. God is not expecting you to figure it out. No. God has never expected us to figure out the way. 
God has never expected us to figure it out. He has never expected you to figure out how to prepare for your husband. He has never expected you to figure out how to do this or do that when he has to do with your purpose. He has never expected you to, to figure it out. No, he has only expected you to follow because we are the sheep. He is the good shepherd. And the shepherd will lead the sheep to green pastures and to still waters. All the sheep has to do is follow the shepherd whatever direction he takes. The Lord has never asked you to figure it out. So while you're listening to this word, don't be anxious. Don't be worried. No, just be yielded to the Lord. Because God is going to confirm this word to your heart as you hear me. Make up your mind from today to be yielded. You see, every instruction, every word from God to you is meant to shape you into the promise or shape you for the promise. Every instruction, every word, everyone he gives you is meant to shape you into the promise. It's meant to shape you for the promise. So all you have to do is be healed. Abide and let him lead you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I will thank you. Go ahead and make that commitment. Go ahead and, and make that vow with him. I vow to follow. Help me to be obedient. Help me to obey you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I love you. See you soon. Shalom.